days I've been held in your hands from the moment that I wake up until I lay my head I will sing of the goodness of God and all my life you have been faithful and all my life you have been so so good with every breath that I am able I will sing of the good John, you're becoming a part of, of our church family uh, this morning. Would you please uh, come on up here and hear these, these questions, these, these vows that we have really as a, a response of trying to be obedient to Hebrews chapter 13, where it says that we ought to be a people that submit ourselves to the leadership of the church. So this is John's profession of faith. This is John's submitting himself to the leadership of the church. John, do you acknowledge yourself to be a sinner in the sight of God and without hope for salvation except in God's sovereign mercy? You do. Do you believe in the Lord Jesus Christ as the Son of God and the Savior of sinners? And do you receive and depend upon him alone for your salvation as he is offered in the gospel? All right. Do you now promise and resolve in humble reliance upon the grace of the Holy Spirit that you will endeavor to live as becomes a follower of Christ? Awesome. Do you promise to serve Christ and his church by supporting and participating with this congregation in its service of God and its ministry to others to the best of your ability? I do. And finally, do you submit yourself to the government and discipline of the Evangelical Presbyterian Church and to the spiritual oversight of this church session? And do you promise to promote the unity, purity, and peace of the church? Outstanding. This uh, next question is for our congregation. Do you, the members of this congregation, in the name of the visible church of our Lord Jesus Christ, take responsibility for the continued Christian nurture of Jonathan and promise to set before him a godly example by your life and to pray for Jonathan as God brings him to mind? If you do say, we do. Outstanding. Let's pray together. Father in heaven, we, we do proclaim to you this morning. We proclaim your goodness. You have been so, so good. To us, to, to Jonathan, Father, you... You gave him the, the privilege of being raised in a wonderful home with wonderful parents uh, who pointed him to Christ. And, and Father, you brought him to faith uh, in Jesus and you have been at work uh, in him and through him um, since his early days. Father, we pray that you would set apart uh, this sacrament of baptism, this, this water, Lord, would you use it, this ordinary water, for a great spiritual purpose? Would you point us yet again uh, to the cross of Christ and to the forgiveness of sins that is found there? We give you praise. We give you glory. And pray this through Christ. Amen. Amen. All right. John's tall. I'm going up. 
God said that he would pour out his spirit upon all flesh. And may he do so in a fresh way uh, to you, my friend. Jonathan Van Kirk, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. God, I'm on my knees again. God, I'm begging, please, again. I need you. Oh, I need you. Walking down these desert roads, water for my thirsty soul. like sweet sweet